Hey everybody, I'm Craig Cottle, the Director of Nature Reliance School and Survival Instructor with DanceDepot.com. Um, what, today what I want to discuss is a monocular and give you some ideas on ways to use it that you may not have already thought of. Glad you're with us. So there's several things that you can use a monocular for. Obviously, you can use it for uh, what it's designed to, which is basically to just take things in from a distance. And if I want to look down, I'm up on top of a hill, I want to look down in that valley right there and see what's going on, then I can do that. I can observe wildlife. Um, real fantastic way to do that, and that's obvious. Another thing that I use it for as far as nature study, and this helps in survival training, is to basically understand tree canopy and how mass grows, particularly got acorns and, and uh, uh, fruits and other things of that nature that can provide food from a tree, is you know if I'm gonna study the top of a tree, I, I can use it, I got a turkey over here on the top of this tree. Um, I can use it to uh, check out what's going on in the top of that tree and uh, I don't have to necessarily climb up to the top of the tree to get to it. Uh, you can also uh, take a real quick look through uh, a forest and see what kind of trees are down there if you're looking for any particular tree. So that's a real easy use of a monocular. Sustenance in a survival situation or just simple wildlife observation. And that is, uh, I'm not a fan of picking animals up and studying them that way. Uh, you know, scientists need to do that. Um, herpetologists and stuff of that nature, they, they need to pick animals up. Uh, those of us that are just enjoying the outdoors, we don't need to be doing that. So one of the ways that I suggest people do this is carry a monocular. And so if I see a snake, for example, and it, even if I want to study a venomous snake and I see a copperhead laying over there and I want to check it out and check out its camouflage and how it moves and everything, I can do that from a distance and I don't have to get right up on top of it. Number one, that keeps me safe. And number two, that lets the animal do what it is that it wants to do over there and I don't have to bother it, whether that's a turkey, a deer, a snake, or a toad, it doesn't matter. So uh, that's another real good use and I've used mine for years like that to be able to uh, check in and, and study wildlife more, more closely. Can you use something like a monocular to build a fire? Uh, it's probably easiest if you just use one of the lenses, but it can be done. I've done it. Um, just make sure that you practice with it and so you know. And don't ever look into the sun with a monocular, binoculars, or anything of that nature because basically that's what's happening. The sunlight's going to be concentrated into your eye and that's not a very healthy thing. So, But yeah, you can build a fire with a binocular pretty easily. It's not much trouble at all. So until next time, I hope to see you on or off the trail, maybe from a distance. <laughs>